Hi everyone, on this video I'm going to be discussing the concept that <clears throat> everybody is at a different point on the economics curve and has different trade-offs. So when you hear personal finance advice uh, and uh, you don't agree with it, uh, it's very possible that both of you are right and there's no need to argue about it. So I recently um, had an issue with traffic court. I was in an accident and um, my main priority was to make sure that the, the ticket didn't also go on my record. I already have an accident on my record. So I went to court to get it reduced. Uh, it was initially for speeding and I got it reduced to uh, uh, inattentive driving. And I also had the option, because I was out of work, uh, the courts didn't know that I have 5,000 ounces of silver in my home. Um, I just put down uh, what I have in my um, bank account and all that. Um, and um, it was very low. And um, I um, was able to get it reduced to community service. Um, but um, people were like, oh, it's, it's not worth the time. And... Um, but you see, I, um, I'm working on my kind of a small business, I'm writing computer games, I haven't sold anything yet. But I need breaks from that anyway. And I need to be going out to look for a potential future wife. And so the trade-off is I save $90 on the ticket and I get a chance to meet my future wife and I get to feel like I'm doing something good. The trade-off for my coworker might be that he misses a few days of work, you know, burns a few vacation days, um, and he only saves $90, which he could have made in an hour. So, so we're on different points on the economics curve, and we, have, we face different trade-offs. So this isn't an argument about who is right and who is wrong. This is an argument about where we sit on the curve. Um, and th this also came up, um, I, sometimes like to, I sometimes like to do um, tutoring jobs. And I'm a little bit torn. See, earlier this year I was quoting a lower rate, um, and uh, I've learned that it's really not worth it. Now I'm quoting a higher rate. I'm getting fewer clients, but I'm getting more overall money, um, both because I'm charging more and because I have fewer sessions to, to, to go to. I'm not spending as much on... Well, I was spending gas. Now I'm spending bus fare because I lost my car. But I'm not spending as much traveling. <clears throat> Um, the downside is that I also have fewer references. Um, when I go to look for the next tutoring opportunity, I have much fewer references. I used to have a huge list of references because a lot of these I was doing for very little. Some I was doing for free and I was always getting a ton of references. Um, it was costing me money. It was not only costing me money for those references, it was costing me money for people who would have otherwise paid more, but I quoted lower uh, price on Craigslist just to get the door open. And um, it's also costing me in a number of ways. I'm missing out on chances to go meet my, uh, to meet a potential future wife. Um, it's also costing me stuff to do. See, as, a, as a computer game writer, sometimes I find when I do tutoring, you know, and I have a really stressful day tutoring. Maybe I had three or four clients and I come home and I get to write computer games. I feel like I'm relaxing. And ah, oh, let's write some computer games. And I relax. And then the next day, maybe I'm burnt out about a computer game. Oh, I can go tutor, you know. So, so now each one is relaxing the other. It, it really does feel that way. Ever since I've raised my rates and cut down to, to very few um, clients, uh, I, I feel I'm losing stuff to do. And it's a tough balance. Uh, if you're only concerned with money, uh, this wouldn't be a balance at all. So it's, it's really depending on where you sit on the curve. You know, when I return to a normal job and I, I have a girlfriend again, and uh, maybe after I marry, oh, this won't be a balance anymore. This will just be a very intuitive choice. You know, so uh, instead of arguing about what's right and what's wrong, uh, it's more productive to think about where you are on the curve in the first place. Thanks for watching.